Hey everyone! Oh. <laughs> hey hey everyone. everyone, how's it going? Alright, so we are finally doing our Q&A after a very long time of uh, trying to do it. So we're filming this on January the 1st, so first things first, Happy New Year. Um, mm -hmm. Hope you've had a lovely 2018 and may 2019 bring you all the success and happiness you deserve. And also, we just like to give a massive shout out to our patrons, ZK, Kenchan, Turbo, Ashley, Vince and Nibba. And another massive shout out to Fefe, also known as Tron544 on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he was actually one of the main reasons we got into YouTube. And, yeah. uh, and the reason yeah. why we started giving out tabs for all of our videos as well. Exactly. So if you, I'm sure you guys have already met him, I mean, know of his channel. So, yeah. But if just in case you haven't, be sure to check him out. We'll leave his channel in the description as well. So massive shout out to you, man. Mm -hmm. I appreciate all your support. Definitely. Thank you very much for joining us on our streams, on our channel oh, and yeah. all of that. And uh, yeah, thank you. All right, but without further ado, let's get started with the Q&A. So the first question is from Elias. So it's, um, congrats guys, much love from Greece. Me and my buddy support you and look forward to your channel to grow. So about my question, how did you guys first meet and what made you decide to start a YouTube channel together? I'm new, I'm kind of new here, so I don't know if you've already answered this question. So first of all, thank you very much for the mm -hmm, kind words. Definitely. Appreciate that big, big time. So for the first part of your question, how do we meet? Um, we're actually brothers, so <laughs> I'm older than Arsif by yeah. two years. I think we met at the hospital, right? <laughs> Would you what? say that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was, I was born <laughs> yeah, after I, I, I was yeah. there too. Was <laughs> oh man. Uh, and what made us decide to start a YouTube channel together? So, um, okay, so this is like basically the origins of our channel. So, I've always wanted to do YouTube for a very long time, and um, uh, you know, I think I was playing guitar at the time as well. I've already been playing for a while. Mm. So, I was just like, yeah, I want to share some of my covers. So, I did a quick. Like literally, you can see our cover, uh, we'll link it down below, yeah. but it was a quick uh, cover of Sadness and Sorrow. And, uh, I remember that, I remember you taking that. I just did it, uh, did the cover in my room and um, uploaded it and it got uh, it got quite a lot of views and mm -hmm. um, a positive response. So yeah. we just started um, doing more and more covers. I started doing like other stuff as well, yeah. like fairy tale covers. We did the Tribune one after that, didn't we? Oh, was it we right did... after Naruto? Yeah, I think okay. it was... Oh wait, you might have done fairy tale first. And then I think we did Tribune. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, so then we used to play a lot um, when we were kids as well. So we played a lot of like, you know, contemporary rock songs and all that kind of stuff. We used to perform Tribune, a lot. Basically. Yeah, 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 that was our We used to perform in school a lot as well. So. Yeah. We used to play a lot together and we used to like learn the different parts of the of the guitar and um, so we actually performed, well not performed, but we actually recorded a song that we had known for years that we just <laughs> we were practicing for yeah. years. So that's up on our YouTube as well, it's a song by Trivium. Yeah, and, um, Dying in your own. Yeah, yeah. And I was, yeah, so it wasn't really established though that we were, you know, gonna we, continue. We were both together doing Yeah, exactly. It wasn't videos. really established yeah. that we were gonna keep on doing YouTube as like a consistent thing and then like what, yeah. what was the next one? It was uh, Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale, right? yeah, yeah, and so, that got a lot of views yeah, as well. Yeah, so Fairy Tale was about to end the anime, uh, anyway. So um, he was really excited about getting the song up, and I knew the song as well. But he was like, he was like, yeah, let's do it together. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to go on YouTube. I'm gonna be yeah. on camera again, and I had to get ready for that and stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. It's a, it's a tribute to Fairy Tale, and Fairy Tale was one of our favorite animes at the time as well. Mm -hmm. So, and then we recorded that, and. Uh, that was like basically the start of us two doing YouTube anime songs covers. together anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, it's actually really interesting. You can watch that video. That's the um, fairy tale main theme, an electric version of that. And we've actually re recovered that one. Oh yeah. So yeah. you can see um, the difference in how far we basically come, yeah. like how far our um, recording and all that has come. So definitely check that out. So we'll leave all of these links in the description. So on to the next question. The next question is by Billy. When did you decide that you wanted to do YouTube videos? Uh, so, oh, okay, so basically this was when I was in high school, so I think I wanted to do YouTube before YouTube. You were in, what is this, A-levels, right? Yeah. It was A-level, I, I mean, was in... I'd always wanted to do YouTube, even oh, in high school, I see. I'd say. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But I've only, yeah. we only just started yeah. uploading yeah. during A-levels, which yeah, is... Yeah, definitely. Uh, which is when I was like, what, 18? You were 18, yeah. yeah, and I was 16 yeah. at the time. So that's around the time you wanted to start doing this. So the next question is by Devjit. From where did you guys get the idea of starting as guitarists and making this YouTube channel? And how did you guys choose Bella City as a name? <laughs> Alright, so um, starting guitar, I'm not gonna lie. So um, I've always been into music, but I've always thought guitar was like the cool instrument. Like this is when I was Everyone tiny. thinks that. Everyone thinks that when they're kids. <laughs> I was so young at the time. I was like, what, 13, 14, something like uh, that. Okay. Yeah, I was even younger, but I never got around to it. I was like, oh, I want a guitar. And then my mom was like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Like, if I really started guitar at that age, I probably would have stopped. So <laughs> yeah, It's good that yeah. we both started around like a similar yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Kinda. So when he started guitar, I started drums. So I learned how to play the drums first. And then after that, um, 
you know, guitar just yeah. came, became a thing as well for me. Because we well. wanted to do stuff like together. It was really difficult to get a drum kit and set in the house. So yeah. it's, it's a lot easier to We do actually had one stuff. right here. Yeah. A drum kit right here. <laughs> and it was way too big for the room. Yeah, it was massive. But um, yeah, I think that. So back to your question, the idea of starting off as guitarist, I think it was just like guitar is a really cool instrument. We Definitely, were really yeah. into music and yeah. rock, especially at mm -hmm. the time. Um, Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, yeah. Trivium, all that stuff. Good stuff. And the next part of the question as to how we chose Vela City as a name, well, it, actually, <laughs> it wasn't us. <laughs> yeah, it was actually one of my friends was, um, he used to do like the piano stuff with the channel as mm -hmm. well. But he's actually got his own channel as well. A cheeky shout out to Jordan. Yeah. Uh, we'll link his channel in the description mm -hmm. too. Um, he, I think just one day he was out. Bro, he's gonna correct me on this so much. I, I, I can't remember forgot. the story. I think just one day he was out and he saw like a city. Velocity. Oh, is it? On, oh. Uh, I thought it was hand like... dryer or something like what? that. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, didn't I might this. be butchering the story. I thought, I, it was, I, thought we, I thought he went out to the city and um, no, like it, London. Yeah, there was right? that as well. Because yeah. London, he, he was like, we live in the city. Yeah, yeah. So okay. he cut Velocity into half because he saw on a hand dryer. Okay, because okay. like, we live in London. Yeah, okay, city. okay. And it's like, Flow Rider, I guess. Yeah, I'll okay, play, on the, a, play on the... A bit of backstory. For, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might have totally butchered that backstory as well. I'm actually not too sure. This was so long ago. <laughs> and the next question is by Zahir. Do you guys live in the UK and are you guys Bangladeshi? So, yeah, we do live in the UK. We live in London, actually. And um, we are not Bangladeshi. We are actually from India. Well, our parents are from India. And... But we were born and raised in London. Mm -hmm. All right, next question is from Riyadh. Um, how did you start the guitar and when did you learn it? So starting the guitar, my mom actually got me my first guitar from Argos. It was, funny enough, it was an electric guitar, not an acoustic yeah. as most people usually start off with. But um, I just started looking at YouTube videos, YouTube tutorials. Kind of like what a lot of you guys are doing and uh, definitely what I'm still doing for a lot of songs as well nowadays Go actually. YouTube. Yeah, just looking at YouTube, looking at covers and uh, you know tutorials and all that. And then just um, taught myself really. You kind of got me into it as well. And then like, because uh, we wanted to do stuff together. And uh, since the drum thing didn't really work out, <laughs> as soon as we had to play it, we just didn't have it in the house anymore. So we wanted to practice at home. Yeah. And um, so, and I came with another guitar, and uh, we started learning electric songs together. Mm -hmm. And um, he taught me all the basics at the beginning. And then, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of just like you know went went on from there. All right. The next question is from Ryan. Favorite song to play on the guitar and electric guitar or acoustic guitar? Okay. okay. This is a, a pretty tough question. Okay, do you want to go first or should I go first? For electric guitar. Uh, Let's both go on electric songs first, okay. For electric, the only songs I consistently remember how to play, uh, and the ones I keep on playing, uh, if I'm not learning a new song anyway, is um, most yeah. likely You Say Run from Boku no Hero Academy from the OST. Wait, that's your favourite song to play? Because the only one I remember how to play. <laughs> that was over so and over again. hard. Yeah. I remember that song. <laughs> and um, I find myself oh my playing God. Canon Rock. Every now and then. Oh, Can okay. rock it? Yeah, I used to learn this okay. at school, so I actually did it for my solo performance. Oh, and um, yeah, so I find I find myself playing those a lot because those are the only songs I always remember how to play, pretty much. <laughs> Everything else is just like, you know, I learn how to play and then I forget. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. What would I say? I really like enjoyed it. our um, GX cover. Oh. I like I like playing that a lot. That's true. Diver was fun as well. What about to play? Like now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would still play oh, GX. Okay. It was just powerful, okay. wasn't it? I can't remember. Yeah, but really. do you remember it? <laughs> no, no, I don't remember any electric oh, songs. Okay, I'm not gonna okay. lie. Okay. I, I don't remember any of them. But GX was um, probably my favorite to play, um, and I also enjoyed playing Diver as well. Mm. So on to acoustic. Acoustic. Okay, is... I know my answers for these ones. Yeah, for favorite song, it would I would say two, and these are ones that I'm working on right now. Ooh. So wait, wait. What about do a song that we've done already? Done already. Yeah. Okay, all right. Song that I've done already would probably be the newest season of Soda Online. Uh, the opening, I'm not sure if it's still the opening, but it was the first opening of this season, and that was uh, Adamas by Lisa. And uh, on to songs that I'm working on, I would say Your Line April, first <laughs> opening, and also uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's first opening as well. So that's Hikaru Nara and again. Okay, so for me, I would say my favorite uh, fingerstyle song to play would be um, one that we've already done. I'd say Odd Future. Uh, I really, really enjoy playing um, Stay Alive. So, okay, Odd Future from <laughs> Bokno Hero and oh, yeah. Stay Alive from ReZero. Mm -hmm. And a couple of songs I'm working on now, um, I really love um, Fight Together from One Piece, oh, opening it's... 14. Absolutely it's... one of my favourite songs to play. Can't wait to upload that. And I'm actually learning an Ed Sheeran song as well. Oh, uh, right. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Perfect is another great song to play. I really enjoy playing that. and. Uh, uh, this one isn't fingerstyle, but I do enjoy playing Icy Fire as well. Oh, that one's okay. like, it's just yeah, an acoustic Yeah, song. there's a lot of like, 
melody esque. Oh yeah, that's true. And yeah, stuff. It's not just like rhythm chords. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So those are the songs we really enjoy playing, and hopefully they'll be uploaded soon onto the uh, channel. Our next question is by Kenshan. Favorite song and the most difficult one to learn. So favorite song we've already answered that. Uh -huh. Most difficult one to learn. Difficult. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with Odd Future for sure. What was your hardest one? It. I think it's just. Purely due to the tempo, it was so oh, it was really fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was really fast. Okay, um, and that was like one of the first songs we proper started adding the percussive slaps. Yeah, to as yeah, well. that's true. So for me, for in that sense, mine would be Darling the Franks because that was the first one I added slaps for. Mm -hmm. But um, difficult one to learn right now would probably be uh, Your Line April. Oh, no. okay. Your Line April because I tabbed it out quite a bit ago. And it didn't have any slaps. This is before I started learning how to play it with slaps. <laughs> so then I had when I did Darling in the Franks, yeah. I went back to Ikara Nara and then started adding all those kind of stuff. And I changed it a lot. So it was hard getting used to it again with the slaps and all the different like different arrangements yeah, kind yeah, of things. Exactly. So I would say that. In, in that sense, you know, um, Stix Helix from ReZero is a bit difficult oh, as well. Is it? Yeah, adding new yeah. slaps to it basically. It's because yeah, when you yeah, ages ago. yeah, it's because when you yeah. learn it and then you try and come back to it and change the stuff up, <laughs> you're, there's yeah. too much muscle memory involved, so like it's just hard to get used to something new. Uh, Alright, next question is by Gruta. Are you guys self-taught or you had a guitar teacher? Uh, well, mostly, yeah, we are self-taught. Um, he started learning by himself first. And then, and all of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then um, he taught me all the basics, definitely. And then after that, we did have a couple of lessons uh, for a few years at... Uh, at our high school. At our high yeah. school. But we didn't have much to add on to what we already knew, if you know what I mean. So yeah. I think the only um, new skill that I learned was finger tapping and electric guitar, everything everything else I learned from yeah. from this guy and, uh, and YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. What For me, you? actually, I started um, guitar lessons a lot earlier in my guitar learning career. Oh, yeah, did, yeah, yeah, because I did so, it. I did you like knew most summer of summer after. Because <clears throat> I learned during summer. Yeah. You learned during summer. So you knew like a lot of your stuff already. Yeah. For me, I was, I was being taught stuff, but I wasn't really like into it really and it was a lot of electric guitar stuff yeah. and um, I think I wanted to, I don't know what I wanted to do back then, I know I definitely <laughs> prefer you know playing acoustic, more finger style acoustic now. stuff now, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you know you can just grab your guitar, go yeah. anywhere you want like you yeah. know whether you're in your bedroom, your sofa, the park or whatever and then just chill out like that, uh, electric guitar you need a lot of equipment, so. yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah exactly so um, what was the question again? <laughs> so we did, we did kind of... Yeah, we, we are mostly self-taught, I would say, in summary. Yeah. But we did but have a few lessons. Yeah, yeah. Next question is by Jao Gameplay. How do I get faster in guitar? Okay, this mm. one... Uh, well, to be honest, you know, even when we start playing new songs, we start really slow. Yeah, I mean, that's how it works. Like, with, as with most things in life, you know, with things that you need practice with, always start slow. Uh, make sure mm. you're getting the notes, like, and all of that smooth and stuff like that yeah. at first. Uh, you know... Uh, keep practicing and practicing, and then once you get more comfortable with playing the song, you'll mm. you'll naturally get a lot faster. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So I definitely recommend you know just play it slow. Make sure you're playing it right. Play it smooth as yeah. well, and then you can start speeding it yeah. up. Yeah, and then you can also play to the real song as well. Oh yeah, then, yeah. Once exactly. you get that, um, yeah. uh, try and get you know getting the rhythm right and all. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. Muscle memory is massively helpful. Like don't yeah. underestimate it for sure. 